Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. Join with me again is Gus Mendoza. This is a continuation, part two, of our Disney Channel original movie, Tier List. Yeah, now we're hitting the early 2000s, 2001 to 2004. This will be comprehensive. We'll at least mention all of them, and then we're gonna rank our favorite yeah. ones. First, we got The Jenny Project. Jenny Project. I don't remember this one hardly at all. I remember it's Alex D. Lenz who was in he was Home big. Alone 3. He did the voice of young Tarzan of in Tarzan. Films. I'm going to probably put this here in the C I, category. Because I think it's a just good movie, neutral. we just don't remember it. Yeah. And we got Jumping Ship. I do remember Jumping Ship. This one is with the Lawrence Brothers. Classic. They're on a ship, and there's something to do with pirates. Right. Like, pirates are after them, and okay. they're the Lawrence Brothers. So, Automatic. S tier. <laughs> it's going to be up there. <laughs> but I remember really liking it. I'd probably put it here in the B tier. Okay. The Poof Point... I don't know this one. The Poof Point. I don't know this one. Hang on, let me just, find let me That's going to be an E thing. for me. It's with Taj Maori. He was big in the day. Yeah, and it's about them having a machine, and they basically turn their parents into babies. And it's like mm -hmm. them trying to figure out how to turn them back to normal. Yeah. Very forgettable. They, they, e tier. That's going to be low. Halloween Town 2, Calabar's Ooh. Revenge. Halloween Town 2, I said in part one, yeah. Halloween Town 2 is better than Halloween Town 1. Yes. Fight me. Don't at me. Yes. I love this movie. It had a nice little twist at the end. It mm. didn't get too carried away with the success of the first one. It's just right. This is S tier. Halloween Town 2. Oh, we're going S. Okay. We got Twas the Night. I like this film. I'm a sucker for Christmas movies. It's starring Stop. Brian Cranston, guys, is the main character. Of I this don't film. remember this one that, that he, Okay, Brian Cranston it plays this like degenerate uncle type guy, and he like basically has to find his humanity again through his family. It's really good. I put that as like a A. Really? Yeah. It, All right. It is really good. Double Teamed. Double Teamed was good. Double Teamed was like a really big deal at the time. It was big. It was based on a real story of these two girls oh, who were like, yeah, yeah they were like 6'1", yeah. 6'2". Mm -hmm. Kind of like that movie Tall Girl on Netflix, except oh, okay. good. Real. Ooh, oh, shots, shots fired. Yeah. Okay. Um, there are these twin sisters who go to high school. They're both freakishly tall. They're insecure about it, but they're like, hey, you play basketball? And they found mm -hmm. their identity like in school through basketball. I remember there was also like conflict with like their dad who was like, I'm just thinking about the girl's future. I just uh, want them to have a classic. secure future. And they were like, dad, we know we're really good at basketball and we're tall, but we're also in high school. We're, we're girls. We want to do other st stuff as well. This is probably a B tier. That's a B. Uh, Cadet Kelly. Ooh. Do I have to say anything? That's S. automatic. That's top of the S top. S tier. That's Very good. Hilary Duff in her prime. Yeah. Christy Carlson Romano in her prime on Disney. We got military school. We got, <laughs> we got Hilary Duff. A lot of memorable moments in that. True Confessions. True Confessions. This one is more... I loved this movie. This was a more serious one. This one was. This is the first time we ever saw Shia LaBeouf as like a serious actor outside of even yeah. Stevens. He had like a mental disability. He mm -hmm. was a twin and his sister didn't have the same pro the same issue. So she kind of resented him for having to like look after him growing up. She was and, his caretaker. Yeah. And basically, well, yeah. In a, in a way. She had all this extra responsibility yeah. to look after your same aged twin brother. Begrudgingly. You know? And um, it was really about her coming to terms with that and her responsibility and how much she really loved her brother. So it, it was a lot of stuff going on. Very emotional. Really heavy. True Confessions is S tier. S tier. For me, absolutely. It's quality, good acting. It's going to be up there. Got to kick it up. This was <laughs> DZ Channel's version of Bring It On. Oh, yeah. Si se puede. I remember. The only thing I remember about that movie. Si se puede. They had this, this line that they would, si se puede. Yes, we can. I don't really like it that much. I don't really care I would for put it. it with double teen, though. I would put it like B, because like, really? a lot of people remember it. I'd put it like C. I don't like it that much, but this I would is put C. it average. It was average. C. Yeah, C is fair. <laughs> a Ring of Endless Light. We don't really remember this, except we know don't that it remember. has Ryan Merriman, who is in Luck of the Irish, and it has something to do with a dolphin. Something to do with dolphins. Basically, I don't care about don't, it. It's going to e be here. Yeah. The Scream Team. E tier. <laughs> the Scream Team. E. Yeah, what are we talking about here? You Wish. You Wish was good. I you remember wish, this one vaguely. You, you Wish merged the worlds of Lizzie McGuire and even Stevens. I remember being very good. He like wishes that his younger brother never existed. Oh. And so he got to see the world and basically was like, my life would without be so much him. better better without my brother. And then he's like, Careful oh. what you wish for kind I, of thing. I think the wish had a weird contingency because it couldn't make him just not exist. So it made him born into another family and he was like this famous uh. actor or something. This one was okay. This is B tier. Okay. The Even Stevens movie. Ooh. This that's S for me. S? I was going to say like A tier. No, that's, that is okay, S. Okay, you're right. Dude. S tier. Like, that is Lewis. That is Shia LaBeouf. 
You got the Even Stevens <laughs> cast. <laughs> they go to an island that is a ends up being a reality movie a prank, and yeah. like they think they, they're legit marooned on this island <laughs> <laughs> and this is like this, these natives yeah, and like yeah, this yeah. whole thing it's so freaking hilarious it's one of my favorite movies it's, yeah. that's gonna be the top. Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off I freaking love Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off I thought it was pretty good it's one of the few movies out there just like about cooking like really like yeah. that's like rare in itself this, is, this high school kid who, like, typical Disney movie, like, has a peculiar yeah, it's interest. Yeah, high school musical, except basketball and yeah. singing. It's baseball and cooking. Yes. And he, no singing. And he's, like, not ashamed of cooking, and he, like, yeah. does a competition, and Bobby Flay makes an appearance. It's awesome. Where would you put this? A. A tier. I'm comfortable with that. It's A. Okay. Cheetah Girls, Cheetah Sisters. Not not my demographic. I did not, not care for these our movies. our particular demographic, but I know a lot of girls yeah, love Yeah, we know that. that it's a respected series. I loved it. I'll put it in B tier. Mm-hmm. I would put it lower we're if it was get, just me. We're going to get some flack Okay, A tier. That's going to be A. Just there objectively, it's... A tier. There you go. Great songs. Full Court Miracle. Four, this one... Oh, man. This one's I want to watch this one. For those of you who don't remember, Full Court Miracle was about this Jewish boy who played basketball. I just remember really the climax of the movie where he's like learning about what it means to be Jewish and he learned the story of the of Hanukkah and they were like right Menorah. at the end of playing this championship game or something. They were running on generators during a storm to play the game. Uh. And if they didn't if they didn't win that game, they were going to lose to the other team who were like ahead of them. So they were going right. to call it then. And so they only had enough gasoline for like a little bit of time and basically the gas goes all the way empty but the lights stayed on giving them enough time to play and beat the team which was the miracle which was the full court miracle this to me is an a tier for me i love that movie pixel perfect uh Pixel Perfect has Phil the, the guy Future. from Phil the Future. <laughs> oh, yeah. They make this, like, perfect girl, and she's, like, a robot. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember this one line in the movie where she's like, what does what does it mean to feel? What's it like to feel? And he's oh, like, yeah. it's like a violin something or other. And I'm, I just remember being like, that's really lame. You, how, do you, how can you describe what it's like to feel to somebody? With something else that anyway. requires feeling or another sense. C tier. Yeah. Eh. I don't even remember it. Let's go D. D tier. Yeah. Buffalo Dreams? <laughs> Okay, Buffalo <laughs> Dreams was the most ridiculous title for any Disney movie. I, it has something to do with BMX, like biking, and also buffaloes. Native Americans. Yeah, the Native Americans are in there too. I don't know. Maybe this is the one where she's like, you've never worked a day in your life. I don't really remember. But I do remember it <laughs> not being as bad as I thought. Oh, I also remember there's this scene in the movie where they're riding bikes and somebody puts a stick in his tire. Oh, I remember that too because I would use that trick in yeah, my Yeah, that's where I learned about that. Okay, that's a D then. Because uh, I was going to put, say, E, but really? since it's so we remember For it. me, I would say this is like a C tier. Okay, since you kind of It wasn't as it. bad as, like, okay. Buffalo Dreams. It sounds so ridiculous, but... Going to the mat... This is a Lawrence Brother movie. Another Lawrence. He's yeah. blind, and he wants to wrestle. Uh, I don't remember seeing this, but, like, but, like reading the synopsis and doing research, I really yeah. want to see this. We watched it's a couple good. clips of it and it's stuff. It's like a wrestling movie. I remember it vaguely... I think that this is an A I feel A-tier. like it's really good. And from it's the, up there. from the re- reviews, it's saying it's one of the best ones. So yeah. Well, from cool. what I remember, I remember it being great. And it'll, yeah, that's all. I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. Uh, Xenon Z3. Not my favorite. Not the, the worst of the, of the three, series. I, think. I like it but a not little bit more. We'll I would say go, B tier. We'll go B. That seems fair. Stuck in the Suburbs. I like that movie. You did? Like you only like it because it got that Panabaker girl in it. Oh, the story was good. It's about like the, the it was this famous celebrity that they like. Oh, what do they want to see? Uh, where would you put this? I would put this pretty high. You would? Yes. This is like C or D to me. To me, this is an A. <laughs> I, All right, we'll, I com- really we'll put it at B. It. Compromise, put it at B. Okay. Tiger Cruise. Tiger Cruise was an interesting movie. It's got Hayden Panettiere and the president from Independence Day. Okay. It <laughs> takes place during 9-11. They're like on this military, like this Navy ship yeah. doing some type of school event because it's like a bunch of kids, kids are, on, are on it. And yeah. 9-11 happens while they're on this boat. It's like super serious. And it's like their perspective of seeing 9-11. Yeah. It's like really serious. I, I know that... <sighs> it looked good. I don't want to get too swept up into like the award fodder of this yes. movie. Just from like a movie standpoint, I thought it was okay. Okay. So I'm going to put it probably C. here at C tier. All right. Halloween Town High. This was not... Good. You like. I like this one. I like this one. For some reason, I remember liking this one a lot. It was okay. I I don't know. I I I, I'm a sucker for high school movies. I guess you are, man. Yeah. Okay. This is like a C tier for me. Where would you put it? I would put it at a B. 
since it's because it's Halloween Town and it's a high regarded okay. trilogy. Okay. I'm okay with that. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't. It was maybe because it was so different than the first two. Yeah, I just yeah, I see that. All right, now you see it. Now you see it, dude. Now you see it's one of my favorite Disney Channel movies. That man. was a good one. He was really <laughs> into magic for a period of, of time. You learned a lot of magic tricks. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. A lot of people are into it. I remember this movie was really cool because there was like a magic school. Yeah, and they the, could like they learned like illusions. Everyone went there, and everyone was like, "Yeah, I want to get better at like doing tricks and illusion." Mm-hmm. And then you like kind of find out throughout the movie that like there was some like there's, real magic going on. I remember the ending scene, like where he like destroys the guy, being like really campy. He's like flying towards the thing, and like throws yes. the ring, and the ring like lands on the guy's finger, and he's like, "Oh no, oh, no!" And he blows up. I love this it. is still I would put this as I would, an S. Yeah, <laughs> 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 I don't care how campy the end, but I love that movie. Get a clue. This one's a little earlier than some of the others, so this one was with Lindsay Lohan oh, dude. and the kid from uh, Little Rascals, Alfalfa oh, right. from Little Rascals. I remember that there was this big mystery involving one of their teachers mm-hmm. and it was actually really serious. Like, like The teacher was really into some really shady it was stuff. It like embezzlement and stuff. Yeah, you know? it was like high level concept for a decom movie. I, I thought it was really good. I a thought lot of it was people like, remember that one. I'll put that at an A. a. I would yeah. say that's A. Right on track. Right on track. With Brie Larson. Young there. Brie Larson. I didn't even recognize oh, that, her being Brie Larson. Also based on a true story. Oh, yeah? The big kicker with this one is that this girl was so good at taking off, like right at the green, that they actually had to inspect her car to see huh. if she was cheating. If the uh, light turned green, if it automatically would go. And she wasn't. She was just like really, really skilled really at it. quick. It's, and then the girl from Seventh Heaven. Yeah, and the girl from Seventh Heaven. Really younger. Those are cool factoids and stuff, but this is still probably about a C tier for me. I agree. Kim Possible movie. Yeah, I um, Kim Possible was Kim Possible was okay. all the rage back in the day. It the, was the show. I remember the movie being pretty good. I feel like it was just average though. The only thing, the only thing that I really remember about it was that she finally gets together with Ron. Oh, and, uh, and, and that like, was okay, really we were satisfying. Waiting. It was because we were like, okay, come on now. Yeah. This one was good. We'll put it at a B. Yeah, it's about a B for me. So that's right. it. That's our list. So these are the Disney Channel original movies from 2001 to 2004. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Where do you might disagree with us? Where, where would you put certain movies? Yeah, let us know. As always, we appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Take, Take care. care.